everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and today I am doing another collab with my collab group, The Faithful Fab Nine. And today's collab, Faye Blatcher chose it. We're gonna do the Essential Workers tag video. It's not a tag. But um, the way I was explained is we could choose any essential worker job and do our makeup like that or we could like dress up as like a mailman or dress up as like a nurse, doctor, police officer, um, whatever you want. And I do know a lot of people are returning back to work where I live. Like a lot of um, restaurants are opening back up. So, you know, waiters, waitresses, bartenders are going back to work. Um, teachers are going back to work soon. Um, or And they have been, teachers have been working. They've been working online. So, um, you know, it's a little different than when COVID first happened because there's a lot more people returning to work. And I know there's a lot of people who still haven't returned back to work. And where I live, on um, the unemployment, you are getting an extra bonus, the, the $600 on top of what you would make on unemployment. But unfortunately, that has run out in New York. So there's going to be, there's a lot of people still struggling and which is it's pretty it's pretty terrible those people who want to go back to work so they can make you know their their money make money to survive and it's really hard on people right now you know no matter what you do you're essential um for our society so i just wanted to let you guys all know that and i did do a rainbow look a while back it was for the essential workers. It was like a tag that was going around. So I will link that video down below. And I do work in a nursing home. I work in the kitchen in a nursing home. I am not a CNA, so I don't do direct care, but I do feed, you know, the residents and we do play our part in keeping the residents safe in a nursing home. So I thought I would do my makeup how I do it, you know, for work and maybe talk a little bit about what's going on in a nursing home right now during COVID. Because I know it's very, it's very hard right now if you have family in a nursing home and you're unable to visit them. I'm actually going through the same boat. I work in a nursing home, but I don't work at my uncle's nursing home and he's in a nursing home right now and it's really hard and he's been having a lot of you know health problems and not being able to see somebody is really hard except especially when they they can't you can't talk to them on the phone like if they have problems answering the phone or you know they need to see people in person you know it's hard but yeah i'm just gonna get into the studio and talk about that and definitely check out the other ladies i will link all their channels down below and definitely check out their channel see what essential worker they chose to do i'm very curious to see how everyone else does their spin on this video okay so this is how i do my makeup for work it is very you know simple in my eyes it may be more to the average person, but I am obsessed with makeup, so I do a lot. I am pretty tired today. I actually worked today. Um, I woke up at 3 a.m. to cook, so yeah, I'm pretty tired. But anyways, I'm gonna start with some primer. This is the Poreless Putty Elf Primer. I just put a little on my finger and rub it in. Um, I don't know. I've been using this one lately because I figure it could help fill in some pores. And this isn't always how I do it, my makeup for work. It just depends how much time I have or what kind of mood I'm in. Sometimes I do more makeup, sometimes I do less. And usually at three in the morning, I have pretty dark circles. So I'm gonna go in with the Blue Beauty um, it is the Brighten, Brighten Up Color Correcting Concealer, and this is in light medium. And I've been liking this. It's just a little pot. 
I like it because it's, well, it's quick. You just dab it on with your finger and it's not extremely pigmented, so it's easy to blend in. And real quick while I'm letting this sit on my face, I'm just gonna go over the ladies real quick who are in the collab group. So we have Fla Faye Blatcher. She's the one who uh, picked this uh, theme for the video. We have uh, Amethyst Winters, Didi Decor Beauty, Little Miss Nat, Desi's Corner, Gold Star Work, Embrace Your Beauty by Chanel, and Little Betsy 79, I think I got it all. I hope I didn't forget anybody. Okay, so let's get in. We'll continue on. So I'm not gonna use foundation today, I'm just gonna use some concealer. And I have this Physician's Formula Sculpting Bronzer Stick for my base. And this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Beige. So I'm just gonna go in the spots I want to highlight and conceal. And then for the Physician's Formula Bronzer Stick, which is in the shade Toffee, it's a little warm, but it all blends in. And I'm just gonna go in the spots where I would like bronze contour. I've been like doing this because I find my makeup doesn't, because I don't want to look like I have a lot of foundation on at work and it still looks like skin, but it just like perfects it a little. And I've been using brushes lately instead of a sponge. I don't know. I've just been in the mood to use brushes. This one's a little too fluffy. This is the uh, Real Techniques contour brush, a little fluffy. For concealer, I, I couldn't find the brush I normally use for concealer. So right now, when we go into work, like when we first walk in, we have to get, we have to check in. We have a bunch of questions that they ask. You know, they ask us if we left the country, have we traveled outside of New York? Um, have we had any COVID symptoms? You know, they read off the symptoms and I usually answer no. And then I get my temperature taken and anything over a hundred, you're not allowed. I believe it's a hundred. You're not allowed into the building. And, and then they give you a mask and you also have to sanitize your hands before you enter the building. And also in New York, we have to, nursing home workers, have to get tested for COVID once a week. It used to be twice a week, but now it is only once. And I do get tested at work. The nurses um, that work at the nursing home, you know, test us once a week. And then they send out our, you know, tests and... That's how it's been, which, you know, at first I was a little scared about getting tested for COVID, but I'm used to it now. I think it was just scary at first, not knowing, like hearing terrible stories about the test, but they do stick like a little cat, little swab up your nose and they move it a little and then it comes out. And I want to say it's like a pipe cleaner and you just tilt your head back and if you relax your face, like if you scrunch up, it hurts more, but you just relax and you just, you know, try to remember to breathe and then it's over, it's done. Sometimes it can feel like a little bit of a brain freeze, depending. It's just like, um, like a little stinging feeling and then it's over. And the residents also have to get tested and our, my facility was affected by COVID. There was a few patients and, and then, you know, they recovered. And then now we currently have three positive COVID cases. So when a resident, you know, tests positive, we have like a little section in our nursing home that we call like the COVID unit. unit. And that's pretty much under lockdown. Like I can't enter it. 
um, but the CNAs have to enter it and they, you know, go into full gear, the head shield, they put something over their clothes, they have booties on their shoes, gloves, mask, like full gear to go in there and to care for them. So this is my Wet n Wild Floral Majority, just like a cream blush. And currently where I work, they are not allowing visitors. Um, a lot of family members go to the window, like the residence um, bedroom window, because we are a one floor facility. So they're able to, you know, talk to their loved ones through a window. I do know that we have like iPads where um, they do FaceTime so the family can, you know, the residents can see their family face to face on the phone that way, which is really nice. And I'm gonna use this um, Kenna Beauty that I got recently in a Boxy Premium. I like it because it has on um, the set and mattify powders. And this is just my e.l.f. blush brush. So I'm gonna set my face. And I kind of set all over the place because I am going to be putting on a face mask. So I don't want, I do get some makeup transfer in my face mask, but I try to eliminate it as much as I can. And this also has a mattifying powder. So I'm going to go in with a little of that too. Kind of like in my T-zone area and like where my face mask would be. And I do want to go in with a little of that contour shade, just a tiny bit for a light dusting. I know I did cream bron you know, bronzer, but I just like a little, a little more, just a tiny bit. And I am going to go in with my e.l.f. blush in Always Rosy. This is the primer infused blush. And just going to go in with a tiny bit of that too. So in the kitchen, when there is a COVID case, or we also have rehab units where you get people that come in um, from the hospital or they're new to the nursing home. They first go into like quarantine in the rehab units. And in the kitchen, we instead of giving like normal um, like plates and silverware and cups, we do everything on disposable. So we have like styrofoam trays, plates, cups, uh, pla you know, plastic silverware, everything's disposable. So there's no risk of contamination. And so when they first come in, they have to go on disposables. And if they go into the COVID unit, they all have to go on disposables. Or if a, one of the sides of the units in the nursing home was affected, like if they had a positive COVID resident, they the whole side will go on disposables just to be safe and also it protects us the workers it protects like just in case that you know you don't want to risk anything any transfer anything and this is uh the power up in beauty setting spray i have been using it was in a boxy charm and i didn't do any highlighter i usually don't do highlighter for work and i I would say in the last like few months, I started doing my brows for work. And this is the Hourglass Brow Pencil in Soft Brunette. Got this in a boxy charm recently. And this one isn't extremely pigmented, so it's quick and easy for work. And I'm just gonna brush that out real quick with the spoolie. And then I'm going to jump into eyes. And I like using these little e.l.f bite size because they're super easy and quick. There's only four shades. I just do something very simple in my eyes. At least it's simple for me. I am first going to take this shade right here with my finger and just put it all over my lid. So when my facility was COVID free, they were allowing visitations in the courtyard outside. And um, both people had to wear a mask you know, the resident and the family member would have to wear a mask. And um, it had to be outside and they had to be, I believe it was six feet apart or 10 feet, I can't remember. And I believe it was like you had to make an appointment and it was limited on time. And, and I mean, you could 
you had to keep a distance. You couldn't touch or hug or anything like that, but at least you were able to, you know, talk to your loved one in person. But unfortunately, since we do have a couple positive cases, oh, I'm going in with this matte shade right here. Since we do have a couple positive cases, they no longer allow the visitation right now, but it's only to protect the residents and you know the residents family because working in a nursing home we have the most vulnerable population that can be affected by COVID so we have to keep them safe and you have to take things seriously and I know it's hard for family like I'm dealing with myself with my uncle in a nursing home and not being able to see him like when he was in the hospital we were allowed to visit there but not you know not in the nursing home Okay, now I'm just gonna take this like liner brush and go into the deepest shade. It's like that purpley color. And I'm just gonna use this for like little shadow liner. Okay, and then I'm gonna pop on some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara, which I like it. I feel like this gives me like length, but not a ton of volume. It's kind of nice for like a natural everyday look, in my opinion. Like, a lot of people don't wear makeup to work, and I don't know, I'm just one of those people that like to do their makeup every single day. But if I was like a CNA, and I had to go into those COVID units, I'm assuming you would have to wash your face. Like, I'm not sure if you have to wash your face afterwards or whatever you have to do. It would probably be like, unnecessary to wear makeup I mean it's unnecessary for me to wear makeup too but like I said this is just what I like to do if you see the Sami, I just wanted to cover up my place of employment just you know for privacy reasons hey okay, and then for lips honestly I'm going to be wearing a face mask all day at work so there's really no point to put on anything on the lips but I do pop something on for like the car ride just to moisturize my lips. Um, honestly, by the time I get to work, it wears off anyways. But I'm just going to pop on. Um, this is the Revlon Super Lustrous uh, Shine. They're just like a hint of color. This one's in glaze mauve. It feels more like a balm with just a tiny hint, like a lip tint kind of. At least this shade does. I don't know how the other shades, you know, how much pigment they have. So that's it for my makeup. And then when I get to work, when I check in, I have to put my face mask on. And I know every, you know, job, no matter what job you have, everyone has to wear a face mask right now. So it's nothing unique. But we did have start wearing face masks and my work before face masks became um, required or mandated before any of that, any employer, like any place was wearing masks, we started to. So here's my mask. And then when I get into the kitchen, this is nothing new. Um, we do our hair not because we are, you know, around food. No one wants hair in their food. So this is what I look like at work. <laughs> and I usually have a marker hooked up to me so I could, you know, write dates on things, label things, just have a handy, but that's it. This is me getting ready to go to work and what I look like at work. So, <laughs> This is, and this is what I look like when I'm taking a break from my face mask. I don't really get to see myself and how I look like, you know, but yeah, this is it. I just want to thank everyone out there who is working and who is not working. I know it's really hard on everyone right now. It's just, it's just a really scary time and there's a lot of unknowns. I just hope everyone stays safe and you know, wear your mask. I know a lot of people, not a lot of people, but there's people out there who don't agree with having to wear a face mask, but it 
you're protecting other people in case you are sick and it's just safer that way but okay i keep babbling but definitely um check out the other ladies from faithful fab nine to see what they did and if you're not already i would love for you to like and subscribe and hopefully i will see you soon all right bye